farm animals or something. No. And it just wants no. to rape and evolve. <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry, I, but I hate playing versus Protoss because I feel Protoss is extremely strong versus Zerg. But then Protoss will QQ and say that they aren't, and, and then it just gets into a whole debate. All right, welcome everybody. This is the B Team Open round two. Uh, it's gonna be a PVZ on the map. Uh, wow, I can't believe I just have mind blank. Cloud Anyways, Kingdom. I guess, yeah, Cloud Kingdom. Wow, I was just thinking of Mana. I don't know why. Um, so it's gonna be between our Zerg player, that's the green top right hand side of the map, versus our purple pro. Okay, Jazz. And so far, we start off the game just neutrally until something awkward happens, which I'm kind of hoping for. Well, there's your first awkward thing. Kijak's not deciding to wall off at all versus Zerg. He's going to build his pylon behind his mineral line instead of at his ramp or trying to forge fast spin. Mm, doesn't seem like any early pool. That would have been actually pretty nice for this game, but oh well. Q Jack this challenge Q -Jack was just expecting the neutral. Sorry, the, go ahead. Yeah, the neutral uh, forge fast spin, which you usually see. But Q Jack's also not scouting either with his nine. Looks like, and he's also not doing anything. He's oh oh, is he gonna be? Is he dumps doing some variant of the forge fast spin? I'm not sure. <laughs> It's kind of difficult to say right now, but my guess would be uh, it's going to be one of those attempted one gate while well, delayed at the fast expand, but with units. Unless. Uh, okay, so he's not going to place a pylon, line, is he? Jesus Christ, place for. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so yeah, it's going to be a delayed fast expand. If not, he's just going to go for killing the natural base. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. It was kind of a late forge, I guess. I don't know. I don't play Protoss, so I've never seen this before either. Usually, you wall off right away. Any type of Ling Rush is, will just plow through all of this. He has no defense right now. A 14 14, 14 pool, 14 extractor would have just destroyed this right now. He is also going to go Nexus first before he builds any type of cannons. Yeah, this is kind of ballsy play from Kajax. I'm kind of wondering if he already knows his opponent somewhat, or it's a build that he's experimenting with, because this seems kind of like a Nomi type of playstyle, which is one gate. And, yeah, I mean, normally he would be dead under normal standards, but it seems Zerg's just being very... Passive. Oh, taking his dual gas, that's why. Double gas. I don't know. What is that? This is a really early double gas. Is he going to go for two base all in? The infester? Uh, I suspect either roaches or mutas because I don't know why but a lot of times in gold ladder I've been facing a lot of muta players playing as part of Yeah I could see him going mutas right now uh, the old two base muta I forget the actual build but I know he was really powerful uh, <sighs> The season one, I guess you would call it the season three right now. But the first few the seasons first. of StarCraft two, it was really good. Two base muta, and you would get an early gas like that. But looks like uh, let's see, Chillin's coming up. He's gonna poke up with these two links that he made, and is he's gonna see? Oh, I guess he's just gonna leave him right there. Does not see anything right now. Oh wait, yes he does. He does see that Q Jack's expanded. And he also does see the Styber Forge. Well, not the Forge, but he obviously knows it's there somewhere. But yeah, that, that little wall off right there is very vulnerable. He still does not have a Zealot. Zealot is not in production either. I'm going to try and pick off a probe, and he does get one, so he does get his money worth for those wing, uh, wings. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he got the second canning because that seemed like an overreaction just from seeing what was like four links or six links. I wasn't really looking at but oh, oh, it two links. Better two just put the pylon. So yeah, it's just gonna delay his tech that much more, and he's now mining his gas. So he's already far behind as it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like 
chilling, throwing on two evil chambers at his entrance to his second base. Kind of a weird. He has half of a wall off, I guess. He has two spots open, but I would have been more com more comfortable because versus Protoss, you kind you don't want to wall off any type. You Protoss like being in cramped places versus Zerg. It means they can uh, not let the Zerg. Sh and whoa. I see why he got the early guess. Looks like he's throwing down Nidus Neck where he's going to try and Nidus into uh, King Jax's main, which I can see happening. I've done this before on ladder, and it tends to work out. Seems that he doesn't have his Overlord in an ideal position because, well, not that I'm an experienced surrogate like you are, being a diamond and all that. But I guess around the dark spot, or a little bit above the uh, third base where the gas is, that would be a good position because Protoss doesn't have any, well, vision there. So, yeah, from there it would be good. Everywhere else it doesn't seem it's going to be possible. Oh, wait, never mind. I spoke too soon. Yes, there's a couple of places versus Protoss that you can do this in. But he does not have a... Mm, yeah, he does have a big enough army, actually. Um, to this was a really early nidus. Usually, when I nidus, I have at least half of a supply. Well, not half of a supply, but around 150 supply. But he's gonna be able to take out a few, if uh, a few pros, which is actually perfect. There is an immortal on the field. There, he's, he's going by the two cannons. If that immortal, yeah, he needs to keep that immortal alive. If he loses that immortal, it's gonna definitely hurt him but he looks like he's gonna lose the immortal to some zerglings those zerglings pretty much just taking out all his yeah taking out all his army pretty much the one stalker on the field right now chillin's going for the nexus right now taking out the probes with the um, roaches and calling in another nidus and yeah chillin has yeah, chillin. complete control of Qjax's main uh, not like the decision making of Kjax. I mean, he should have just sacked the base and ran the probes and kept his units and then just canned up his main and then probably taken a third because, yeah, he just sacrificed all chances of probably getting back into this game. Unless Chillins actually sacrifices his army somehow. Which I don't think he can do. He has like no opposing army to go against. His roaches are just gonna come in here and destroy all those cannons easily. Look, he's gonna stop production, easily taking out like five shots, take out that Robo Bay. And those cannons are not in range of uh, helping out those probes at all. He's trying to warp in the units desperately, but Challenge, he's expanding behind this right now. He's gonna take out all of Qjax's uh, economy. There's no workers for him, just four. Taking out another immortal, that is, this, yeah, his economy is just, there's no way that Q Jackson come back from this. More units being uh, pooped out <laughs> from the Nia's Worm. Yeah, but you gotta admire Q Jackson's determination to not give in. I guess that's kind of like the whole Protoss mindset, but still. No, it seems like he's gonna tap out anytime soon because there's not much he can do. And he knows he's far behind, anyways. Yeah, there is no way. I'm just waiting for the chillin for Key Jax to uh, surrender or GG. Wow, I did not know that about Nidus Worms. That apparently you like spit out that big of a creep spread when they're out. Oh yeah, it's a definite help. There he goes. There he goes with the GG from Key Jax. Very interesting play. You never see the Nidus Worm being used. 